Enter a new world. This was the advertising claim for the BMW Z1 25 years ago. With its plastic components and vertical sliding doors, the BMW Z1 made its mark as an exceptional phenomenon on the road. Between 1989 and 1991, BMW produced 8,000 of these futuristic roadsters with a base price of $53,000. Today, you have to pay up to $75,000 for a BMW Z1 with low mileage. And this legend is still alive. BMW Classic events are special. Nearly 100 BMW Z1 owners from all over the world came to Munich. The BMW Z1. It was and still is revolutionary. Very exceptional. The get together of the first and the last BMW Z1. The latest BMW Z1 off the line is next to the first one off the line, and we know that, so we like to drive them behind each other. It's like Alpha and Omega, and the circle is complete. At launch, BMW suggested that owners might like to buy a spare set of body panels, so that they could change the color of the car from time to time. The original suggestion was that taking all the body panels off would take about 60 minutes for a skilled mechanic. But in reality, it takes much more time. To take them off and to put them back on again is a good two days of work. Peter Ermler would never do such a body panel change. He owns the first BMW Z1 that left BMW plant in Munich. And his car is still all original. To afford the car, he had to close all his accounts, sell off stocks, and his life insurance. This is out of I saw the car and I wanted it. I couldn't afford it because I didn't earn enough, actually very little, and I had to save. I never thought I would own a Z1. The Z1 was designed by an in-house division of BMW. This vehicle project was intended to test innovative materials, launch a revolutionary bodywork concept, and highlight opportunities for optimizing development processes. The result was so impressive that already three years later, the first out of a total of 8,000 series vehicles left the BMW plant in Munich. A sensational success for the 60 headstrong team, in spite of many skeptics. The first important decision was of course the position of the motor. If it sits in front, or in the middle, or if it would be rear mounted, and decisions like that take most companies two to three years. But with basic decisions regarding research in our ZT division were decided in an afternoon. There were not only skeptics externally regarding the doors, but internally as well. If that was a solution that could be put into production, unbelievable except for gear changes after 80 to 100,000 kilometers, there are no problems with the doors. Lutz Janssen was one of the head engineers who was involved in the Z1 development. His main work was to plan the first BMW wind tunnel. Past and present. The Roadster possesses remarkable aerodynamics. The design of the underbody has a major influence on this. The whole of the undercarriage of the car is covered by a flat composite pan, which is designed to smooth the airflow to the rear wing. But you always experience something amusing. For example, when you're sitting in traffic, people ask, what kind of car is that? It's a BMW. Is it a prototype? When will it be released? Or they ask about the doors. They close automatically. Hey, did you leave the doors at home in the garage? Can you drive it open? We saw many Porsches and other vehicles, and they're all great, but they don't have this mythos. Driving the car is great. We could go to the lake and basically touch the water. It's simply fantastic. If you notice the good condition of the Z1 in front of the BMW Museum, it is hard to believe that the Roadster was presented 25 years ago. The limited production, in association with his unique concept, makes the BMW Z1 a cult and trendsetter, who is still today ahead of the times.